Good day Grade 11s. Welcome to this next lesson on Newton's Laws and Application of Newton's Laws. In order to understand what Newton's Laws are and how they work, you need to know what forces are. So we're going to talk today about the kinds of forces there are. Now first of all, what is a force? A force is a push or a pull experienced by an object. So any type of push or pull that we experience is caused by a force. And there are two types of forces. There are contact forces and there are non-contact forces. Now we're going to go into more specific details about this. So let's first talk about the non-contact forces. Non-contact force, the first one which is pretty obvious is gravitational force. What does a non-contact force mean? A non-contact force means that we can feel the force or the, the application of this force over a distance. Okay, so for example, if you jump out of an aeroplane, you're going to fall towards the earth. And why? Because the gravitational force of the earth is pulling you down to earth. There's no big hand that comes down from the earth and goes, come here, and pulls you down. It is an unseen force. It is a force that is not in contact with the object. Right. Now, another one that we can think about is magnetic forces. Now, what a little video. It shows you how magnetic forces work. So they've got a very strong magnet and you can see that it gets released and it suddenly, okay watch, gets released and it, it is attracted, so there's an attractive force and it squishes the cherry tomato, here comes the soda can. So what you need to understand is that in all of those, the magnets there have been released and then are attracted towards each other and then crash the object between them. Next we've got electrostatic forces and the most ex normal example of electrostatic force, the most useful one, is of lightning. What happens is a charge builds up in the clouds because usually there's thunder and what happens is before the thunder you have a lot of movement in the clouds and the little atoms in the clouds get excited, they get charged up and then basically they see the earth as something that's either neutral or oppositely charged and you get lightning strikes. So those are three types of non-contact forces. Now we talk about, let's talk about contact forces. First of all, the normal force which we talk about is the applied forces or push and pull. That's what we speak about every day. So you can see in this little animated gif here, you've got this little boy and he's pulling the little girl in the little wagon. So that's a pulling force, right? Next force that we talk about quite often is friction. Now friction always works against the motion between two surfaces and it's always in the opposite direction to motion. So friction is not perpendicularly between the two objects. It's always parallel between the two surfaces and it's in the opposite direction to the motion. Another type of contact force that we experience is tension. Now tension is just the name that we give for force in a rope. So if you have two gentlemen, what looks like two gentlemen, pulling on a rope, then the force in this rope is called the tension. Okay. And finally, the normal force. This is the force the surface exerts on an object. So here we've got a book and it's sitting on a table. The force down is going to be the weight or the gravitational force on this book. But this book is not falling, which means that there's something holding it up. And that force that's holding it up is the force of the table on the book, which we call the normal force. Now please understand, you can only experience a normal force if there's actually a surface holding the object up. Right, and that grade 11s are the different types of forces. Please make sure you understand and know them before we move on to the rest of Newton's laws. Have a great day.